All right, I want to spend some time talking about uh, the minor seven uh, flat five chord. I think it's very, very important that you really spend some time, um, you know, understanding this chord and how it works within the context of gospel music, and then also learning this in all 12 keys. So let's take uh, the chord. Let me show it to you, and let me show you it in context. All right, so... So this, this is pretty much a chord right here. So I'm sure you've heard that before. You know, and you've heard it in, you know, different keys. You know, but it's but it's something that you wanna you wanna have, you wanna understand it, you wanna understand how it works, and then you wanna know how to manipulate it. Okay, so um, this this first video is just really gonna talk about the chord how it works, how to practice it, and then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to show you how to manipulate it. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, talk about it. Now, this is played on the two, and, um, and first, first what I'll do in the key of D flat, I'm going to break it down. So you have E flat, A, uh, D flat, and then you have your uh, G flat. So that's the basic chord. And a lot of times with gospel music, when you hear it, you kind of hear it, it wants to move to the five. You know, like, that's a natural, like, uh, point to, to resolve. But oftentimes what cats do is they'll go, they'll walk it up. So the bass is going two, three, four, five. So on key, uh, D flat, that's E flat, F. A flat. So the chord structure is that the E flat minor seven flat five chord we talked about. Then we're gonna play the one chord over the three, which is the uh, F A flat D flat F. So we're back to the same chord, but this time we're playing it over a G flat bass. Same chord, G flat A. So that's the basic gist of it. Um, you know, learn it, you know, you definitely want to learn it in all 12 keys, you know. You know that pretty much exactly like that. You, you just want to have it, to, you just want to have it on tap in all 12 keys. And, and it's pretty easy to do. Again, the first way is just to go from two to five, two, five, or the walk up. So make sure you get that tight. Make sure you know you work that. At least get it in C and D flat for right now. I'm gonna come back in the next video and I'm gonna show you how to make it even fatter. All right.